Welcome to this video on a new, even lower note than all of the other ones we've learned so far. Um, I've got a trombone with me today, but we're going to talk about how to play this new low note on the trumpet as well. And for trombones, it's called low A. Now, you might have known that this was coming because you've looked at the memory songs in your primer pack, and you've seen that a couple of them have the note A listed there. And if you're really clever, you looked at the little grid where it shows you the notes in order from low to high, and you will have seen that A is the very first one. This is at the start of the Memory Songs 2 sheet. Um, A is the new lowest note that we're going to learn on trombone, and for trumpets, your new low note is low B. Alright, so that very first tune I played uses this low note a lot. Uh, that tune was from a movie called... Hopefully you haven't seen this movie, it's called Jaws. Um, I wouldn't recommend that you go out and watch it straight away, because there's lots of... Um, now you know this already, there's a shark, there are these people holidaying in a beautiful kind of seaside resort town, and then a shark comes and starts eating people. It's, it's tragic, um, it's thrilling, it's exciting, and then they, in fact I'm not going to spoil the ending, but it's pretty epic. Um, don't watch that if you're not 15, because I bet it's not um, suitable for um, year fives and sixes. Nobody think that I'm recommending that, because I'm not. So, here's how to play our new note on the trombone. Um, step one, play our existing lowest note, B flat. Just checking that you could hear my voice okay on this. Um, play your existing lowest note, B flat, in first position with a controlled, steady sound. So really think about uh, keeping your embouchure nice and steady here as you're playing the note. Let's see if I can do that. Good news, I can play a B flat. Um, trumpets, for you, that would be your C. Open valves, low C, same thing. Really think about how it feels to get a C note with a beautiful warm sound and a steady pitch. Um, for trumpets, your next step to get B is really easy. You do exactly the same embouchure, same kind of uh, tense lips and smooth air. You do the same embouchure and airflow, but you press down second valve. And instead of C, you'll get B. Should feel very similar, because these two notes are quite close together. Um, here's how it sounds on trombone when I go from B flat, which we do know, to the note A, which so far we've never played. concentrating on there each time I went from B flat which should be very familiar to the new note A um, what I was concentrating on was not just keeping my embouchure my lip muscles kind of controlled and stable but also trying to get the same clear start to the second note the lower A note that I got on the first note so trumpet same thing for you guys you're going from C to B you want your B to start just as clearly and cleanly with a nice clear T um, as your C did, and then keep it as steady as the C was. Trombones, we need a position we haven't used before for this though. For trumpets it's easy, they just press down their second finger, bang, they get a B note. For us, second position is just a little bit of silver showing, and it's not going to be perfectly the same on every single trombone, but it's going to look a little bit like this. I realise I'm kind of moving around a little bit there. I'm not used to doing it by sight, but it's somewhere around, what's that, four centimetres or so um, on your slide. Basically, um, you're going to be guided by your ear. Does it sound like you're still playing a B flat? It's just kind of wobbled a bit. Maybe you need to move it a bit further out. Um, does it sound like you've gone a long way down? Maybe you need to bring it in a bit. So third position is down here, roughly. Second position is a little bit of the inner slide showing, and first position is all the way in. So, uh, the important thing here, Jaws starts off on the lower note. Trumpets, this is your B, second valve. Trombones, this is your A in second position. So think about how it feels. You're gonna go low, high. 
it's not really high. You're starting a lower note, slightly higher note. Second position to first, second valve to open. Have a listen. that I played the second note staccato. We've talked about how staccato means short and kind of detached from whatever comes after it. In this case there's no note after it, it's just a dramatic pause as you gaze out across the ocean looking for any telltale signs of sharks. Um, so, long, short. Next step, three notes in a row. Low, high, low. Apparently I can't sing a low A today. Oh well. Um, low, high, low is the second step. Have a listen. Three notes, last one is staccato. Next step for our version of Jaws, and this isn't, obviously we're doing a reduced version of the whole piece and we're simplifying a little. Um, next step, four notes. Low, high, low, high. But in real life we know that the two notes are actually really kind of uh, really close together. The high one isn't much higher. finish off, we are going to keep alternating between the two notes, A and B flat, B for trumpet and C. We're going to keep alternating, we're going to get it faster, 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 until you can't tongue it any faster, or trumpets, until you can't wiggle your fingers any faster, um, and then you scream and get eaten. Um, clearly I can't sing low today, maybe I can scream like someone being attacked by a shark. That's actually a horrible image, um, don't think about that. Let's find out. I'll play the whole thing. Two notes, gaze across the ocean. Three notes, a fin appears in the distance and starts moving towards me. Four notes, the fin is circling round and round. Slow, faster, 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 faster. Scream, not because I get eaten by a shark, because that's a horrible thought, but because it brushes past my foot and I would not personally be able to deal with that um, in any other kind of way. Let's find out, I haven't screamed in years, I always make my students do this, so let's freak out the rest of the house. Here we go. into your practice journal. So trumpet players, the way I'd write this down on one of the pages we haven't used yet, um, the way I'd write this down is Jaws theme, and draw a picture of a shark, um, then underneath that the first line is B, C, two notes only. Your next line trumpets would be B, C, B, three notes. If you want to draw an arrow to the last note of the phrase and write staccato, so you remember it's short, that's fine. Next line, four notes, B, C, B, C. Once again, the last note's short. And then the fourth line of the piece is start slow, get faster, scream. So basically for trumpets, that's B, C, B, C, B, C, B, C, B, C, B, so forth, and then scream at the end and freak everybody out. For trombones, exactly the same thing, but you're going to write A, B flat. And we know that B flat is capital B with a little flat sign next to it, which looks like a lowercase b. So A, B flat is your first line. Underneath that, you want to write down A, B flat, A. You can pause this and kind of listen to it again when you need to. Third line is four notes. A, B flat, A, B flat. And then the last line of your piece is start slow, get faster, scream. Cool. Once you have memorised your Jaws music and you've played it for a few days and really kind of trained your your mind and your lip muscles to be able to play that note really accurately, you've got some memory songs that use this low note. 
And for this bit of the video, I've brought in a bit of a prop. Um, I'll probably fast forward this as I go and get my prop. All right, I'm very excited. I've never had the need to use this in a video before. This is an authentic 1980s uh, Casio kids keyboard, um, powered by batteries and it has some really bad drum beats. And I'm gonna use the really bad, um, what do they call it here? They just call it a rock beat. I'm gonna use this to demonstrate Smoke on the Water, which is one of your memory songs, and Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes, which is another of your memory songs. These are guitar riffs that we're then playing on our instruments because they use that low A note for trombone, low B for trumpet, um, and we're gonna play it at this tempo. There's my drum beat. I'm going to grab the trombone. This is Smoke on the Water. Enjoy the classy drums. I just realised that my uh, microphone wasn't recording this whole time, so you know what? We're going to stick with this because I reckon that was a pretty good lesson. You have the sound from the phone. Here's what it sounds like, smoke on the water, on the trombone. This is a classic rock riff by Deep Purple. One, two, oh, one, two. guitar riff that we're playing on our brass instruments. Um, starts up a bit higher on E for trumpet and D for low brass. On its own, without the tacky drums, it sounds like this. And I'm not playing it perfectly smoothly. I'm putting in a little bit of separation between the notes. Um, if you want to play it completely smooth, ta 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 ta, you can. It's going to sound really good. What you don't want to do is play it completely staccato. But 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 that's not going to work. So see how you go with that. Still aim for plenty of airflow and controlling your sound. Here's how it sounds with the tacky keyboard drums. So all you get is the phone audio, which might be a bit crackly, so sorry about that. Um, you have the new note A in second position for trombone. You have the new note for trumpet, which is second valve B. We know that it's a very similar embouchure, meaning your lip muscles, similar lip tension to the existing low notes that we can already play. Aim for a nice clear start to the notes, steady sound, uh, play jaws to freak out your family, and I look forward to hearing these things when I get to see you again um, once we're past this whole social distancing phase. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. <laughs>